On the last one, we built some new floors, and on this one, we're going to build some new walls. And with a little luck, we are not going to run out of titanium. We are going to find out. Oh, I don't know how to do this one, because what I wanted to do... will work. We might have to build some additional flooring here. So let's do something like that. And then I guess we need a couple more floors. So let's do a couple of these guys as well. And we'll we'll see if this works out. I'm not sure how the, the spacing on these guys works. They take two spaces, but I don't know if they actually take two spaces or not. We somehow managed to not get raided on the last one, which I'm actually kind of grateful for because I needed a bit of a break. Plus, it gives us a chance to, you know, build some new defenses just in case. We have ourselves a disk compression module just lying around. And, um, which ones are you complaining about? Technically, uh, that guy doesn't have any in him, that guy... This is kind of where we've been starting. It's just going this way. So we're going to go ahead and add another disk compression module. I mean, just look in here. They're going to go from 30, from 24 to 36 zettabytes. So that's not too shabby. I'm not sure how we're not completely maxing out the grid right now. We're researching nuclear energy, 3 megawatts. And yet we're only using 2.3. And last I checked... Where's our research area? Right here. Over here. There's only one person researching, so... Not quite sure how that works out, that we're using 2.3. I guess we're not researching at full capacity or something? I'm, I'm really not sure how that works. I think I forgot to do something because... We added some solar panels on the last one. I don't remember where. They're in various random locations. It's kind of like some of these guys stuck in here. And I just want to make sure that we have not neglected any solar panels in terms of their cleaning schedule, so that should be fine now. Excellent. I think what we'll end up doing is we'll probably get rid of this guy, so let's, let's maybe uh, order a deconstruction of that one. I don't really like where that one's at anyway. That one, that one doesn't really work. And then we'll order a new one to be right there. That'll be just fine. That's perfect. You know, I had the thought too, there's something else that we could do in terms of kind of making a, an area to pull in raiders. So right now we're obviously building uh, essentially a kill box for them. That's what this is. Whether it works, I don't know. But we don't have to go with the traditional you know, give them a turret to play with, kill box option. We could instead go uh, slightly more interesting and give them a super heated or a super cold box. Uh, super cold isn't really going to matter because no one's going to show up such that uh, we need to really worry about, or such that they are worried about cold, but they could show up worrying about heat. So, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just a thought. It's just a thought. We're going to go ahead and add a little bit more here because we need just a touch more. Not quite ready to make this work. We're going to be able to make it work pretty soon. Oh, no. Um, anyone haul those before they go away? Nope. You tried. Let the record reflect that you tried. I don't even know where they went now. They're gone. They're just straight up gone. They vanished in the void. I guess because we're moving so fast and those are outside that, um, oh well, away they go. It's fine. I'm not, I'm not gonna sweat that. I mean, who cares? It literally eh, doesn't matter. Okay, the next thing we need to do is add Walls right here. Okay. So we'll add some walls. We got ourselves a functioning turret. And we're going to add an airlock right there. 
We've arrived at something. I don't even know where, where are we? Apparently we are not arrived at, oh uh, no, we are. Achieve Voron Bel Voron Velia, Voron Velia, Voron something. We've arrived. It looks like um, this is a planet. We can explore it and it does not have any titanium. All right, uh, that looks like the expedition crew we want. Expedition crew, report to shuttle, please. Ah, Manders, are you sleeping again? Last time this happened, Manders was sleeping. Where is the Manders? Oh, Manders is literally on the way to bed again. Ah. Wow. I kind of want to take Manders out, but Manders is by far our best miner, so... I'll just... I'll wait. Manders, you can go ahead and uh, just get your... get your sleep. We want you to be functional, because you are the best... the best miner. There we go. Got ourselves a turret set up. We got a, a thing in there. Did we ever get the second one? Look at that. We got this one set up. So let's go ahead and configure this. We're going to select as the target, um, I don't know how to say I want that target. Because I don't think these highlight in any way. Aha, that's how you, you get them to highlight like that. Okay, let's select that target. Uh, this one should be powered. Oh, you're maxed out. That's why. Oh. That's obnoxious. Okay. Add another one. It'll be fine. We'll make it work. And then... This guy is currently configured to... You are now configured to that one. I don't know that any of this is going to work right. I kind of suspect... That maybe this should be a little lower, that it should be down here. And that what's going to end up happening is that they'll they'll end up breaching into this room, which... <laughs> oh, that's bad news if that happens. That is just straight up bad news. I mean, we can relocate the directional turret again and hope that it also doesn't short circuit this time around. Hello, that is very zoomed in. Thank you for that. Got a couple people working. Oh, wow. We got everyone working on it. So power, power draw is actually super high right now. Uh, can we build gigantic batteries? I think we can build bigger batteries, right? We never did get around to that. So, oh, wow. Five plates. All right. Um, let's build. Let's build a couple more of these guys. It's not going to be many. And I, I realize that, but it's kind of a start. I'm trying to be a little thrifty about our titanium right now, because we just don't have any titanium. And as a matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's try calling in an ore trader yet again. And we'll see if we can get someone that'll have some titanium to sell us. I'm trying to stick with buying ore, because I think that's going to be cheaper than just straight up buying titanium plates. If we buy the ore and then we process it ourselves, you know. Just seems like that would go over better. All this stuff needs to be hauled, so we'll go ahead and queue you up for hauling. Yeah, we're getting there on that research. It's moving. It is moving. Not disappointed with that in the slightest. We're about to lose our last battery, though. So I think that's the last one that has any charge in it, so... As soon as that guy goes down, we're basically done. Everything's going to slow to a crawl because we're not going to have the storage that we need. Did that come with a partial storage? Or partial charge? Oh, that's fantastic. I don't know how that works, but I'm not going to argue with it. It's like when you buy something and uh, it's delivered to your door and pre-charged. Thanks! I suppose what we could do here, let's do this. Uh, we've got enough... We've got enough carbon at this point that we can just go ahead... And I know there's a faster way to do that. I'm well aware of that. But we can go ahead and queue all these guys up to start burning some carbon now. 
I didn't want to do it earlier when we were still kind of light on on our carbon, but we have tons of it now. And then I know they they need to be fueled. I I do recognize that, but hey, look at that. There you go. That's going to help out a little bit cuz especially because I think Oh, you know what? I think we did. We pulled all of the upgrades out of these guys, didn't we? Because we put them in uh, these heavier duty ones over here. Yeah. Well, that's all right, though. I mean, you know, it's fine. It's an extra 100 watts. I'm not going to sneeze at that. That's, that's still very valuable right now. We're definitely at a point where we can use more power and... I'm kind of waiting for this research to finish so we can find out if we're able to move on and start building that nuclear reactor. That's the thing I'm really looking forward to. Kind of wonder where it should be built. I'm guessing out here, too. I would guess uh, if, it, if it explodes, if it has a malfunction something, you don't want to be near it. So let's try and put it as far away from people as possible. That pretty much means the northern end of the ship. Just kind of wondering if maybe we should add one more charge station somewhere. Maybe we'll do a charge station... Uh... Oh, I don't know. Do we? I don't know if we really need another. I mean, we are trying to add a couple more... A couple more bots. A couple more drones. A couple more of whatever those things are. Let's add one more charge station over there. I realize that's pretty close to this one, but... This is kind of a heavy work area, so I think it kind of makes sense to have one more in here. The fabricator's not quite there yet on this guy. 37%. I'm pretty sure we have not, at this point, successfully created another one. Now we're still working on it. And we've got two of these? Do we really? Wow, if we've got two of them. Did that end up getting installed? Yeah, sure did. Look at that. Okay, we'll install that one, and just for the kicks, we'll install that one. It's all the same thing. Um, it looked like it was a stockpile of two. Maybe the other one was, like, in the middle of being delivered or something? Okay, well, whatever. This one is saying we don't have any. That one is going to have it installed. I meant to go back and check our food stuff after selling off some bread. Kind of meant to check on this and see where it's at. Cooking bread, what do you... Wanted amount 60. We don't have anyone doing that. Maybe what we should do is change that to an auto kitchen. I don't know where our... Oh, they would be in the fridge, wouldn't they? That's the beverage cooler. That would be the refrigerator. What do you have? You have soy burgers. I'm going to go ahead and deconstruct this thing, and we're going to build another... Another auto kitchen, because apparently humans can't be trusted, and honestly, if the difference is between them researching or making bread, I would rather them research instead of make bread. That, to me, is a completely 100% fair trade. And I realize these things probably take more power, but 8 kilowatts is kind of like, whatever, I, I sneeze at that. Uh, let's make, oh, we can make survival meals, huh? Maybe we should do that. We should probably have... Because people do have favorite foods, right? Nope, wrong button. Let's try that again. It helps to hit the correct one. I've learned that over the years. Um, this is not a good setup at all. I realize it doesn't need the space. I'm just going to do it anyway. I like the way it looks better. That's that's fine to me. Let's go ahead and haul all this stuff. Looks like soil, basically. It's probably processing from something. And then we also need to haul some of that stuff. That'll be fine. Which one are you? Just out of curiosity, your cuddles. I think you had a a birthday recently. Have you been pet? Not petted by anyone before. 
My goodness. I keep meaning to check on that. Okay, boots. Boots will be petted soon. Not petted by anyone before. I mean... What is wrong with these people? These people are horrible. I mean, you're slowly working yourself out of a... A hole there. We'll be petted soon. Oh my gosh, I... I don't like these people. Again. I don't want to build mind control... Mind control, because then, uh... I don't want to be responsible for them. Just let them do their own thing. And if they want to be, you know... Cool. Then cool. And if not... I don't know. I mean, I guess we could probably survive without any humans. Probably. There, we'll make some survival meals. We'll do like uh, 30 of these guys and then bread. We want... Uh, like 50 breads, maybe 60 breads. We might end up needing another refrigerator. We'll see how this goes. I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm kind of hoping that... Yeah. I thought someone hauled that, that, that meal off somewhere else. Uh, goodness, I gotta check now. Did you haul that meal off to another one? Okay, I don't see the survival meal anywhere, so I'm gonna say no. But we might need another... another refrigerator, but I thought too is to see how much the survival meals sell for. Maybe they'll sell for a lot, maybe they won't. Keep waiting for more entertainment stuff to be added too, because this is kind of sad that there's like, you know... That's about it. I mean, I guess uh, we could build more treadmills, but... I don't know that anyone really... We don't really see a lot of use out of, those, out of that, I don't think. I could have sworn we had a an auto dock at some point, too. And I must have just gotten it mixed up with the treadmill, or, or else I destroyed it and then forgot to rebuild it or something. Really not sure what's going on with that. Oh, we were supposed to launch the expedition. I totally forgot about that. All right, let's try again. Everyone, report to the shuttle for expedition duty. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Um, no? Okay. Let's not haul that. That's excellent. Okay. I wonder where those guys were going. What were they doing? I guess they're just touring the place. Making sure that there's no uninvited guests aboard. So far there's not. Uh, let's go ahead and build... I keep saying I'm going to do this, so we're going to go ahead and do it. Here, let's build one of these guys. We're going to put you away in the corner. There's going to be a rhyme and a reason for this. And we're going to go to our storage settings. And we're going to change... Allow selected, we're going to do crude oil, and we're going to do petroleum. And I think that's all we need to allow in there. Okay. Perfect. And that's all that's going to go in there, and we'll call that good. Everyone's going to be busy for a while hauling all of this stuff, and then it'll kind of calm down. But for now, have a good time hauling, everyone. Uh, make sure you use the teleporters if you can. Although most of these, I don't think you're going to be able to do that. So good luck with that. But this will at least give us an idea of how much petroleum we have, never mind the crude oil and all that jazz, which will be helpful when we're trying to figure out, hey, are we going to run out of plastic or rubber anytime soon if we continue to produce at a breakneck pace? So far, it looks like the answer to that is no, we're, we're not. Okay, let's um, retry task. Here we go. Robix is going to come over and install that. 2552, 2564 uh, is what we're going to go up to, if I'm not mistaken. So we are almost done with nuclear energy research. And then we have the big question of what do we do next? I don't know because... Oh, goodness, we probably need to do the nuclear energy storage before long. I mean, just to have those batteries seems like that'd be a good idea, but this is the one I really want, is the, the large solar panel arrays. I think that's going to be a more important thing long term. 
I guess maybe what we do is we build a crap ton more of these guys, the memory modules. Problem is, we got to build another room for all of them. We kind of have, uh, I guess we could turn this room into a memory room. Pull the turret out of there because we're not actually going to leave the turret in there at this point. I mean, we don't really have reason to, I don't think. So we could do another memory room right here. And then I'm just looking at what else we have that we can do. We could move all of these matter reactors and that would let us build one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we remove things around, we could probably get another 12 in there, which uh, it's not quite enough, I don't think. It's gonna get us up to 90. If we switch back to memory compression instead of... Ah, goodness. Maybe what we need to do is we need to switch back to memory compression instead of disk compression. I mean, I kind of hate to do that because the stuff is going to take up a, a boatload of space. I mean, look at that. It's going to take up 80 right there. And by the time we start getting to FTL and those other things, like these 256, 256, 256 each, that's 1024 right there. Another 64 for terraforming. If we decide to do quantum computing, it's 512 for that. If we go with replication, I mean, at that point we have more than eclipsed our actual space. By far. Like, totally eclipsed. Ah, oh, goodness. What do we need for FTL? 256. We can probably get along for a little while with what we have in terms of storage. So, I'm going to go ahead and stop this right now, even though it's in the middle of doing that. Let's do some disk compression. Um, memory compression is what we want. So tight, kitty. Here, we'll just cue those up. She just moved around. There you are. How you doing? We're going to queue up some more memory compression modules. I think that's the better way to go right now. Every one of those that's, you know, every two is basically a free memory module, right? Can we build any larger memory modules? Oops, my bad. So the two exabytes are the largest ones we can build right now. Oh, goodness. All right, let's relocate our turret here. We're going to move this guy to... So like right here. I mean, nothing says fun like two guns pointed at batteries. <laughs> oh yeah, well aware of what I've been doing. Well aware. Not saying it's a good idea, just saying well aware. I'm gonna go ahead and power this light because when the door opens, I want everyone to be able to see the carnage that's going to take place when they start firing in there. And by that logic, I should probably include a light right there. So we'll do the same thing. We'll give them a light so that they can realize the error of their ways when they decided to come and try and raid us. Because you know what? I, I really, really, really want to see some raiders just get wiped out in here. That's going to be just brilliant if it happens. I've been thinking about this for a while and finally is like, nope. Let's do it! In the evening of day 228, late into the night at this point actually, we have completed researching nuclear energy. Interesting. Okay, that is now done. We don't have anything queued up at this point. So we can just kind of do Pretty much whatever. Um, I mean, I guess we could do weaving, even though we already have a loom, so I don't know, whatever. Spacesuits, I mean, I guess we could do more of the spacesuits just to sell them, but 
I don't know, I kind of don't want to do that. Although that was a pretty good chunk of money for us. So what do we do then? I mean, there's part of me that says maybe we should just go ahead and add the autopilot to the list. Just to the giggles. That won't take long to research. That'll be pretty easy. And that'll allow me to buy some time and think about what I want to do. Maybe the force fields. I think I think I like the idea of force fields. That sounds fun. I also do kind of like the idea of hopping into a black hole and just waiting to see what happens. But we'll go ahead and queue those two up for the next the next step along the way here. And then now that this guy is done, let's go ahead and queue up some... These are all the two memory module, right? I'm going to do it like this. Do, 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 do. Basically line everything up here along. I think we can get away with that. I think everyone has diagonal access. If I'm not mistaken. And then we can do something like, I guess this room is not ideal. We'll just do it like that. That's fine. We'll just do rows of these things. I have no idea how many that is. We're not going to have anywhere near the parts we need to make any of that happen. But that, my friends, is another episode's problem. We'll catch you in that one. Until then, thanks for watching. Yeah, I need some titanium plates. Time to call the trader yet again. See you later.